Linux on netbooks. There's been a lot of debate on is it successful? What happened? Why is it not the market that it needed? Here's my outtake on it. Half-assed implementation of Linux on said netbooks. The original Asus triple E's, you know, the 701's, 901's, those had the sole focus of being a mobile internet device. Small local storage, online storage instead. Basically the underpinnings of the operating system shouldn't have mattered because the operating system was not the point. It was to be a mobile communications device somewhere between the factor of a laptop and a smartphone. That has changed because they've been pushed the wrong way. They haven't been marketed as such. And that is the problem. You have MSI CEO running his mouth about how the Linux return rates for the MSI win that they put out with, uh, I can't remember their flavor, uh, Olympus Linux, uh, Olympus Lite. Here's the problem I found with Olympus Lite on the MSI win. It was the half ass interface that was put together. Or Everex had mentioned about their issues with the uh, Everex Cloud Book that came out back in 2007, around June 2007. I found the issue I found with that was another half-ass implementation of GOS or GOS. Things like on the Everex, the issue was the screen sizes weren't adequate for the netbook it, you know, uh, you'd have to scroll over and capture windows to actually do stuff you know consumers aren't going to understand that unless they are technically advised most consumers are brick and mortar purchasers of PCs still and online shopping has become more prominent but the fact of the matter is Linux users or people who purchase things over the net are more informed consumers for the most part not always you know when I shop online I go to many different purchasing sites before I find a compromise for what I'm looking for if there are certain specs but I'm not willing to pay a certain price or there's a price that I have but I don't like the specs I'll shop around until I find something that is very similar to what I'm looking for for the price I'm looking for and it's unfortunate that most people don't do that. They don't try to become informed consumers. They just consume. They just buy stuff because, oh, it's cheap. Um, and, you know, that's too bad. Because, on the other hand, you have MSI running their mouth about, you know, they have shitty return rates. That Yet you have Dell who has shipped Ubuntu for the last two years, um, pushing that on their netbooks. And when I say Dell netbooks, I mean anywhere from their mini nines so their mini 12s they're pushing that and a third of all their sales have been nothing but Ubuntu pre-installs so there's a little discrepancy in the information that these companies are giving then not too long ago before Asus went the way they did um, you had Asus saying that the return rates were basically the same for the Linux versus their Windows uh, triple E's so it's all FUD at the end of the day. It's all pro and con. It's the definition of a netbook has changed because they've been marketed wrong. They've been pushed wrong. That's where the problem has become. Which is too bad because they were supposed to be a mid, a mobile internet device, that missing link between the smartphone and a full fledged notebook and now they've become essentially a miniaturized notebook that is supposed to really be the re notebook replacement you know it's just an oxymoron it's, it's something that the OEMs for the most part have done to themselves which is too bad so way to screw it up from 
most netbook makers, with the exception of Dell, who I still applaud for their push on Linux. Um, other than that, that's all I got to say about it.